Pressure testing must be carried out to ensure all manifold connections are watertight and that no damage to the pipes has occurred whilst laying. This can be carried out with our pressure test kit, basic tools, a garden hose, access to mains water and a bucket. Ensure all floor heating circuits are firmly connected to the manifold. Open the pressure test kit and familiarise yourself with the components. Included in the kit is one pressure gauge, an adapter, one one inch male blank, two one and a half inch bushes and one drain cock. Firstly fit the auto air vent and drain cock that came with the manifold to the top right end of the flow bar using PTFE tape. Next, fit the one inch male blank to the bottom right of the return bar, again using PTFE tape. Fit the one and a half inch bushes to both top flow bar and bottom return bar left hand ends. Ensure all the connections are tight using a suitable spanner. The pressure gauge and adapter can now be fitted to the top flow bar left hand end. and the drain cock to the bottom return bar left hand end. Ensure all the connections are tight using a suitable spanner. Fit a hose from the main supply. Secure with a Jubilee clip if required. Attach a length of hose to the bottom left return bar drain cock. This should be a sufficient length to reach a bucket. Close flow gauges by removing the black plastic locking ring at the base of the sight glass. And then turn the black plastic knurled nut at the base of the sight glass by turning clockwise. Close the manual white decorators caps by turning clockwise. Close the drain cock on the bottom left return bar and open the auto air vent drain cock. Now we can introduce water into the manifold until four bar is reached on the pressure gauge. Leave the manifold under pressure for at least 10 minutes and check for leaks. If any occur, check connections for tightness. Now open the drain cock on the bottom left of the return bar, checking that the drain hose is in the bucket. The pressure in the manifold will be released. Now open the auto air vent drain cock. Open the first flow gauge by turning the black nailed nut at the base of the sight glass anti-clockwise by hand. Now open the corresponding decorator's cap directly below the flow gauge again by turning anti-clockwise. The water will now travel down the pipe circuit. The flow gauge will move erratically until a steady flow is achieved and any air has been removed from this loop of pipe. Don't worry about setting flow rates for the moment. This will be covered in a separate video. By placing the drain hose into the bucket, it's possible to see the air being purged from the system. Once all the air has been removed, the bubbles will stop. Keep a careful eye on the level in the bucket as you don't want it to overflow. Once you're satisfied that all the air is out, close the white decorator's cap by turning clockwise. Repeat this exercise for each loop of pipe, opening each flow gauge and decorator's cap in turn, allowing the water to flow through the pipe, purging any air as it goes.
Once all loops are filled with water and all air has been removed, close the drain cock on the bottom left return bar and allow the system to become repressurized up to four bar. Leave the system under a pressure test for a minimum of three hours, checking the pressure at regular intervals. If the pressure drops, investigate and check tightness of all connections. It's advisable to leave the system under pressure during the laying of all floor to indicate any possible damage caused. To release the water pressure, briefly open the drain cock. 